Diana, you've been vocal for the last year saying that you've been working on a domestic league for women, and it sounds like there's been some progress there. What is the announcement today? Yeah, we are announcing that we are building a women's professional soccer league in Canada. We're kicking off 2025, and it felt like after six months of work with myself and my business partner, Thomas Gilbert, that it was time to share that news with Canadians, uh, share that we've got two founding teams, the Vancouver Whitecaps and Calgary Foothills, and two founding partners, two incredible founding partners in CIBC and Air Canada. That is excellent news. As you know, a lot of people have been craving a women's domestic league in soccer. Craving a women's domestic league across any sport in this country uh, is definitely lacking. So 2025 is the launch. You have the two founding teams right now. What is the goal as far as how many teams you would like in the league? Yeah, here's, uh, here's what we're thinking. So yeah. kickoff's 2025. Like I said, we've got two teams. The plan is to have eight teams across Canada, a truly Canadian league. Four in the east, four in the west, so we can have a bit of a conference format. And then the goal is to attract some of the world's best women's soccer players to Canada, including Canadian women's national team players. Uh, we know, you know, the women's game is only growing. We know CONCACAF Champions League is coming in the future in North America, and it's time to build our league and, and start to compete because this thing's only going to get bigger. Vancouver Whitecaps associated, obviously, with an MLS club. Is that the goal moving forward, those types of partners? Yeah, we're looking at just like the NWSL has done in, in its team ownership, we're looking at different types of ownership. So absolutely, MLS clubs we're interested in. Uh, obviously, the Vancouver Whitecaps are first in the door here. Uh, for me, Greg Kerfoot has been one of the people who's been supporting Canadian women's soccer behind the scenes for decades, and he, he probably doesn't even like me saying that, but that's a fact. He's been putting money into our national team program since the early aughts. He's, he's still putting money in. Um, so he was one of the first people I approached in this project because I knew he shares the same goals I do. And we love independent ownership too, independent ownership groups. We want women to be a part of our ownership groups. If you know, we're not building like NWSL did 10 years ago, we're building now. And that means we need more diverse ownership. That means women at the table to begin with. I have a theory that not many women in Canada have been asked if they want to own professional sports teams, and I would love to ask them. Yeah, why not? There we go. Let's put the ask out uh, as we speak. And I know that it's it's two years away, but I know you're already working hard as well on the structure of it too. Um, you know, again, I look at just the Canadian Premier League because it's the only men's domestic league in the country right now, and I see how they structure things as far as the amount of Canadian players under 21s. Mm -hmm. How do the women work? How is that going to work as far as how you want to construct your squads? Yeah, so for us, we're looking at a maximum of seven international players per team, the remainder Canadian, obviously. And for us, that's a bit higher than NWSL to really supplement that playing quality of our league just in the first few years. And we do think Canada's a really attractive market for women's professional players, obviously. You know, in, incredible standard of living, incredible attitudes towards women in sports. So we want to attract really strong international talent here. Geography, we know Canada is a really big country. Mm -hmm. Are those some of the challenges too when you just look at um, transportation? Yeah, we're big. Uh, yeah. And that's the one thing everyone <laughs> points at, you know, in how do we build sports leagues in Canada? We're really big. So for us, we've done two things. Number one, founding partner off the bat, Air Canada. They're really going to help us manage those costs and they're going to make sure our players are traveling in style. Uh, and two, we're going to have a bit of a mixed competition format. So one of the innovations that came out of COVID, uh, a silver lining, I guess, one of the things was that model of bringing all the teams to one market and having a hub competition. So mostly home and away, traditional season model, but twice per year, we'll bring all our teams to one market for 10 days where all our East Coast teams will play all our West Coast teams once. And we want to build out events and properties around those 10 days as well. So hub model and national partner Air Canada are how we're addressing the, our, our vast mm -hmm. geography. Well, we know at the beginning of the year, Canada Soccer had also announced a head of women's professional soccer in uh, Brie Carr Harris. I'm wondering what the relationship is there. Yeah, and that was that was a, a very positive step from Canada Soccer to hire Bria. Uh, and Bria has been doing fantastic work. I, I think she's probably spoken to hundreds of people across our landscape, stakeholders in soccer across Canada. Um, we look forward to working with them and growing our partnership as we go next year. We're looking forward to their support. I know Bria is in her process and, and she has to complete that, which I believe involves also building out a women's soccer strategy for Canada, which is so important. Right now, Canada soccer doesn't have one, so I know Bria is heading that up. So 
she's been doing fantastic work and we look forward to working with them. We look forward to 2025. This is truly exciting news that you've, you've put in a ton of hard work. You have the creds, you have the chops, and I know that it's going to go places successfully with you behind it. So congratulations on this announcement. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, and I, I mean, I appreciate you always. I mean, you're a part of this. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is this is something for all of us. Like, yeah. there's one of the strengths in this is so many people. Everyone I talk to is so excited for this, and they want it to happen. And part of the reason around this announcement is we want people to know it's happening. We want people to know we're working on it because you know we're going to need the fan support. It's time to invest for team owners. We already know corporate Canada is behind this, but. We know we're working on it, and we're going to be working on this for the next two years. So uh, reach out because we're building it together. Well, he just gave us an early Christmas present. Thank oh, you. Thanks. <laughs>